Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Brick's Art. I didn't want to build this set. This is set, what is this set number? 40599 Houses of the World, number four. It's kind of a Asian, Japanese kind of a set. It's actually pretty neat. I, I don't have any problems with the set. I just didn't want to build it. And I'll tell you a little story about this set, <laughs> about why I built it, which may or may not be interesting to you. But as a uh, collector of Lego, I like to buy Lego when you have a good deal on lego.com. That means you may be double VIP or a gift with purchase. And this was one of those gifts with purchase. And sometimes the gift with purchase isn't necessarily a set I want to build, <clears throat> but if it's free, I'll take it. <clears throat> so I took it and my goal is like, if I get multiples of them, I just part them out. And so I don't like parting out a single copy of a set, which is all this was. <clears throat> and I was building a set that had a window, which I think, yeah, it was the, uh, the, 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 the museum, the new uh, Lego Modular Natural History Museum. Well, I was missing a window, one of the glass windows. And I was like, I looked all over. I looked in the bag. I went through the bags that I had already opened for that step. I looked on the floor. I looked on the sofa. I couldn't find it. And I went through my collection. I didn't have the part in my store. But I looked and I was like, oh, it's in the Houses of the World number four. Let me just take the one that's out of here. So I opened this sealed set up, <laughs> took the, the, the window, the, 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 it's the one that goes on like the door instead of the actual, the smaller window. So it's the taller one. So I took that out and used it to finish building the Natural History Museum. And then I saw the piece on the sofa. I, and I was like, I know I looked on the sofa, but there it is. So I was like, well, I'll put it back with that. And so I had all the parts. I had opened all the bags anyway. And I was like, well, I'll just part it out into my store. But I hate parting out small sets like this. <laughs> so it sat in the tray, which promptly ended up on the floor here in the basement. And the reason I'm wearing my orange, this is my safety orange Sure. So this is like you're working on a construction site and you don't want to get hit by a car. I should have put this thing in safety orange. I kicked that tray like four times in one day. And like an idiot, I put it right back. It was on the floor over here. Sometimes when I come around this table and I, 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 ha I hate that one time it was after I had stopped recording and I came back around and I kicked it. And I was like, oh, I wish I was recording. So the parts went flying everywhere. And of course now they've rolled around on the floor and they're dirty and I don't want to put them, I don't want to put those in my store. So now I got to figure out what to do. So I took all these dirty parts upstairs and watched New Heart. And actually I was watching the, 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 the some f football and then I was like, yeah, I'll go ahead and finish building it. So I finished building it. And so today I want to tell you about it. It's uh, the Houses of the World 4. It's not real exciting. I don't think it's one of the better gifts with purchases. And I don't have Houses of the World 1, 2, and 3. So I'm an incomplete collector here. I do have, actually I got, I think I got one of the other ones like number 3. But this this is one of those gifts with purchases I, I wasn't too thrilled about. I'm not saying it's a bad set at all. It actually is pretty neat. It's got a ton of stickers. Stickers on slopes that are pretty annoying. But... Um, I can't really say it's a bad set. Is this a pagoda? What do you call these things? But so, yeah, I went ahead and built it. So I'll, I'll keep it. I'm not necessarily going to be looking to get the other three, uh, cause now I'd have to buy those. I could, yeah, <laughs> I could go like retro engineer them back out of my Brickling store, <laughs> but not one of the better uh, gifts with purchases, but I do appreciate that Lego does it. So even when the gifts with purchases aren't ones that I'm crazy about, uh, I, I am glad they do it. And another one they did, I don't have it over here, is the um, that dragon. Um, not crazy about it. So I have if it's a really, really, really good gift with purchase, like this had been the the train, I would have bought more stuff. 
So the gift with purchase can incentivize idiots like me to buy more when they're good, but when they're eh, uh, or the threshold's real high for something like this, but like, eh, I, I could do without it. And uh, this one, this one just made me build it because of my incompetence with putting stuff in a tray and kicking it all around. Amazingly, even though there's a couple of pieces that went up under my shelf. <laughs> and I, uh, but the good thing is they were the extra piece. <laughs> so I was able to build uh, the whole model. And uh, does this thing have a toilet? I think it has a toilet. <laughs> so actually, you know what? I'm kind of glad I built it now. It has a toilet. There are so few toilets in the Lego world. That's why I kept kicking it. Everything happens for a reason. Now I'm glad I built this. It has a toilet. I'm going to keep it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'm not going to... Do the other ones have a toilet? Let me know in the comments below. But that is Houses of the World, number four. This is uh, Brickzar. I'll be here tomorrow in another shirt. Hopefully it won't be this bright. Orange is not a good color for me. I'm just saying. Joseph Olson standing in a field, staring at the stars, talking but for real, holding an oversized light bulb in his arms. As we go marching two by four out of this dream and right through that open door. Joseph Olson with that light bulb in his arms.